dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you know that you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you so much for your love and your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please do that and thank you so much so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a black American woman by the name of Alicia in her late 30s and a single mother of two who thought had found true love on a dating app. Who thought God had answered her prayers because she prayed and prayed and prayed to God to bring that right guy in her life. So coming across that guy on that dating app thought he was an answered prayer from God. So guys, after Alicia finding love on that dating app, they started communicating like how you guys always do. <laughs> Those who have found love or you guys that are still chatting with guys online. So yeah, they could communicate, eventually had to arrange a meeting because they were living in different states. But guys, what happened to Alicia after meeting this guy in real life was a nightmare and when alicia looked for me to tell me this failed love story was breaking down crying told me bella i wish you were here to hug your girl yeah i really felt very very bad but what can i do <laughs> the only help i gave her was just you know those encouraging words to keep her in a good mood so guys without wasting much of your time now you know what is going to be our today's love story let us jump into it so dear friends i am going to be beginning alicia's love story with how i got to know her or how we came to know each other okay so alicia was just my subscriber just like most of you are because not all of you are my babies i mean my clients so yeah she could watch my videos learn tips and tricks of online dating enjoy the story times alicia was following me also on my instagram account yeah so kept on watching my videos on youtube but one day alicia approached me on my instagram so when she approached me on instagram wanted matchmaking you know for me to match make her with a single guy i told her right now i don't have any guy that i can match make you with yeah but why can't you try online dating there is potential there you can find love alicia was like bella I have seen it all on online dating apps. Yeah, I've been scammed by guys. They tell me, send me money, send me money. I keep sending. Eventually, we don't meet. I've met guys who ask for nude photos. Those weird, weird talks. So with online dating, no, I'm not into that anymore. For me, I believe you can find love online. So I tried to talk to her and told her, no, you can still give it a try. You can become my baby and then I can be guiding you. She was like, Bella, I know most things about online dating. I'm telling you, I've been there for so long. <laughs> so it's kind of like wasn't looking for that online dating guidance but i did not stop telling her to still try online dating again under my guidance but she was more interested with matchmaking and you know me guys i'm not someone who will just hear you wanna pay and i start telling you lies because <laughs> alicia was ready to pay for matchmaking I told her, right now, I don't have anyone. I can't lie to you. But if you want to stay on the list, you can just stay on the list. If I have someone 
who matches you, then I will match you with him. She was like, it's okay, Bella. I really love the job you are doing on YouTube, how you're helping people. So even if it's not for matchmaking or any guidance, I'm still going to send you something. Yeah, I had that in mind. I had planned for that. I was like, it's fine. No problem. <laughs> Don't worry. So we kept in touch for some time and then disappeared. Remember, wasn't my baby and had not paid any fee for matchmaking. So here comes an American guy. I know most of you can remember that American guy who wanted to be matched with a woman. I posted on my community post and most of you reacted to it. But then he came to me, was like, now he only wants ladies in America. That is when I remembered Alicia. I remember talking to Alicia about that American guy and Alicia was like, yes, Bella, I am interested. Give me some time. I'll come back. She came back and yes, sent something that she said was going to send. So yeah, I matched them and they started talking. But after a few weeks, unfortunately, couldn't work out. So Alicia was single again. I told her, don't worry, still go to online dating. I told her, send me your pictures. Let me see your bio. Let's work on everything. Give it a try again. I am here, you know, to guide you through. No one is going to scam you. No one is going to play games on you because you'll be updating me on everything. Eventually, guys, Alicia was kind of convinced, <laughs> decided to try online dating again, a fresh yeah. <laughs> so sent me her photos. I told her how I need to see her photos that should be on her online dating profile. We worked on her profile. All was good. So she started searching could even send me, you know, the messages that the guys are sending her. I could tell her, no, Alicia, that's a scammer, you know. I told you, a guy, when he brings money talks, run. Those guys that says, oh, I work in a petrol company, you know, gas company. <laughs> All those are scammers. She could tell me, yes, Bella, I sense to that because I told you, I know these people. I've been dealing with them. They have scammed me so many times. You can't even imagine, <laughs> yeah? So I just wanted to hear from you. So I kept on guiding her and sometimes could come like that to ask for guidance, yeah. So yeah, Alicia kept on searching, but at the same time, kept on asking me about matchmaking. The truth is, guys, men approach me on Instagram. These white guys, you know, black guys, they approach me wanting me to help them find African ladies, most of them, yeah. But these guys, it's not that every month I have so many guys. <laughs> no, every after two or three months, I get a guy who is looking for a black woman. But the truth is, 99% of these guys that approach me on Instagram, on Facebook, wanting to be introduced to single black African women, when I interrogate them, because I told you I don't do connections, <laughs> I do matchmaking, yes. So I have to interview a guy to get to see if he is a quality guy. But most of these guys, when you start asking them serious, serious questions, <laughs> they run. So why should I just take, he is a white guy and be like, hello, this is a white guy. Take him, start chatting. No, I don't do that. <laughs> so Alicia kept on asking me, but I kept on, you know, updating her on how things have been going. Sent her the screenshots So the guys that have been chatting too on Instagram, on Facebook, that say they are looking for black women, but they are not quality guys. We better stay with no one than just bringing any guy just because he is a white guy and he said he is single. So we kept on chatting and then she disappeared for some months. And as you know, I'm very, very busy. This is what I tell my clients even before they pay the fee that don't expect me to be looking for you every single day. But whenever you need me, you know, you want my guidance, right? Don't hesitate. And it's not that 
I don't want to look for you every single day to know how you are doing. No, it's because of how busy life. But whenever I have that free time, maybe <laughs> every month there is that day I have free time, I check on my babies to know how they are doing. So you might not hear from me for some two months, but surely you will hear from me because I care so, so much. So when Alicia could disappear, yes, she could be in my mind thinking, I hope everything is fine. I hope she is still searching. <laughs> Maybe for now, doesn't need my guidance. Then she could reappear and be like, how are things? How are you doing? I could tell her I'm fine. It's only that I am busy. And yeah, then could disappear again. So after disappearing for some months, then I got to hear from her August this year, 2024. And when she came back, oh my God came back with good news guys <laughs> yeah was so happy very excited thanking me that bella i have eventually found love online i found a guy who truly truly loves me a guy that i was praying to god to bring to me he finally came i really thank god and she also told me where she found that guy <laughs> i was like bella i found this guy on facebook dating but he is such an amazing guy i was like wow i'm so happy for you oh my god this is why i was telling you keep searching don't give up there is potential <laughs> but at the same time yes i was very very excited i wanted to know more about that guy so i told alicia please if you need any guidance i am here write to me why did i tell her that i told her that because i am her mentor her coach so i was supposed to know that guy the things that i didn't know because they were dating she was happy i was supposed to know step by step because that is how i do my guidance <laughs> and i've noticed some ladies they come to me who are not my babies and be like bella from the one he's so good you know he came to meet me and you know we enjoy the goodies whatsoever he met my family i'd be happy I congratulate them then after some months they come back and be like Bella it did not work out that is when I start regretting be like I wish I knew this love story into details step by step this lady couldn't be heartbroken right now so that is why I was like no this time yes she found someone she's excited at least I should know how things are going and get to guide her. So after sending that message, Alicia disappeared. Never came to me to be like, Bella, okay, I need guidance here. There is this, there is this, nothing. But guys, in my mind, I was telling myself, everything is fine. Alicia has been through a lot, has learned her lesson. No one can play games on her. So maybe that is why never responded to me if she wants guidance with me i was very happy for her and at peace just you know enjoying one of my babies is out of market and another thing that is really really surprising at the time alicia found love on facebook dating there is another baby of mine she is black african but lives in america found love on facebook dating came to tell me about the guy and wanted guidance you know for me to guide her step by step told me the whole story how everything has been going how the guy has been spoiling her you know how they have met and all that and i remember also talking to that baby of mine about alicia that oh my god there is another baby of mine who is in america too for love on facebook dating this same same time so she was happy and i was like wow this is good if you guys follow me very very closely you know we are firm and if there is good news of course i have to bring it to you so that you can be inspired and you get encouraged so when this happened yes i posted on my instagram you know to encourage you guys 
that was my intention. I talked of Alicia and I talked of my other baby. But this other baby, her story is still going strong. She really found a quality guy. So guys, my last time to hear from Alicia was in August 2024. So August passes, <laughs> then September, then comes October. And I'm talking of last week. That is when I got to hear again from Alicia. So guys, when I got her message, I was actually surprised. Why? Because all this while we could communicate, you know, for me, I really like to do voice notes because it's so easy for me. I'm busy, you know, typing. Ah, I find it very complicated. So most of the times when I'm talking to my babies, I send voice notes. Maybe if you have a problem with your phone, you can't hear the voice note, I go ahead and type. But I'm a voice note girl. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that day I received a message from Alicia. It was a voice note, a very long voice note, <laughs> 45 minutes voice note. I was like, okay. So I started listening. And after listening to her voice note, I was so heartbroken, guys, to tell you the truth. So, guys, before I go to why I was so heartbroken, I'm going to start now the story, how it went, so that you guys get to understand what happened. So, I told you Alicia was on the dating site because I advised her to keep trying. So, she kept on trying kept on watching my videos and she could watch with her daughter. She has a beautiful, beautiful 18 years old daughter and her daughter adores me. I adore her daughter too. <laughs> yeah, because she was like, every time my daughter tells me, Bella said this mama, Bella said this mama, do this, Bella said this. <laughs> And this is so common, you know, to most of my single mothers that are my babies, that, that are my subscribers. Some of you have small kids <laughs> and you always tell me, ah, my daughter now knows me. Whenever I'm watching, you know, your videos, they're like, mama, you're watching Bella's video. <laughs> mama, Bella, Bella, yeah. And whenever I hear that, oh my God, it melts my heart, guys, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So Alicia kept on watching my videos with her daughter and the videos could really encourage her very, very much. So yes, after Alicia being inspired by the story times that I post here, other online, you know, videos that she could watch about interracial dating because was really interested in dating a white guy, being married to a white guy. So decided to go on Facebook dating so going to facebook dating after praying so so much because alicia is a very strong christian was telling me bella i am a christian i will die a christian nothing is gonna change that no matter the challenges that i am going through so after praying so much crying to god then went to facebook did not take her so long to find a guy that they really connected so quickly. Yeah, Alicia was so happy to find that guy that gave her attention and all their communication was really flowing. She was over the moon telling God, thank you. I think my time has come. This is my time to enjoy love life. Another thing that you need to know about Alicia, she has got a very good, good heart. Tells us when she loves, she loves deeply. And was like, Bella, I think it's every woman. <laughs> when we love, we really love deeply. But before I continue, I would like to give you some guidance on this, especially if you have been single for so long, you have been praying to God to bring that right guy, you are on the dating apps and sites searching, even if it is in real life. Be very, very careful. Please, even if you are praying, don't close your eyes and be like, no, I've been waiting for God to answer me. So whatever guy comes my way, I know it is you, God. It can be the devil trying to test you. So for you to really know 
It is your answered prayer from God. You have to open your eyes, see things clearly, observe the red flags. Don't just be excited and be like, yes, this is it. Please, please. And if you remember in my last video, I told you we don't need happiness or we are not looking for a short time period happiness. We want to be happy forever. If we find love, it shouldn't just be like, yeah, I found love. I am happy. After a few months, it's no longer love. You are actually dating your enemy. No, <laughs> we want if it is love, it is really love. It is really a quality guy. That is why I am still insisting on you guys to be careful. Guys, I know how it feels to be lonely i know how it feels when you look at your age your age is going and you're asking yourself questions you're asking god questions like god will i ever become a mother will i ever get married will i ever have a family of my own and be happy because you see you know age is really moving very very fast plus the judgment from the community it even worsens things but i'm telling you it's gonna be worst if you just take any guy to come into your life to destroy it completely better take time no matter the age you are right now but better take time and find a quality guy because when you eventually find that quality guy you will do everything that you missed when you were lonely when you were single, you start doing all those things and it will just be history. Yes, dear beautiful ladies. Guys, you're hearing this from someone who also experienced being lonely, who also experienced being judged because she is single, age is moving and she is not getting married. She doesn't have kids. But look at me now. I am married. I have my baby girl, <laughs> Sophie. You know, life is moving. We are happy living our happily ever after not only me the story times that i've been bringing here i always bring mariana's love story because oh my god seven kids but found a guy in line that loves her so crazily they are married and living their happily ever after so take your time use your head instead of your heart at first okay <laughs> so guys you have to be very careful here details about this guy <laughs> his name is christopher so yes guys alicia starts chatting with christopher he tells her that he is 38 years old but alicia tells us when you look at him even people when they look at him they think he is 50 years old. But if you come to look at his ID, this guy is really 38 years old. And as they were talking, you know, you open up about your past relationships. <laughs> and so Christopher told Alicia that he has a daughter who is 21 years old, but that daughter got her when he was very, very young. I think 16 and the girl was just 15 when they were still at school. <laughs> yeah. So got that baby girl, but never got married. Then when he grew up, you know, was in a position to marry, got married to a lady. After getting married, living together for some years, the wife cheated on him. And here, Alicia was like, ladies, please be very careful with these guys. Whenever you chat, they start telling you my ex cheated. I caught her in bed. <laughs> but in most cases, it's the guy that is the cheater, not the ex, but accusing <laughs> the ex-wife. At the same time, he was telling her that the ex-wife used to accuse him of cheating so he was like she used to accuse me of cheating but she was the one cheating <laughs> and alicia says mm, i don't know here who was the cheater or the ex-wife or christopher yeah but guys be very very careful and it's true i've seen so many guys online complaining that the ex cheated when you ask him what happened to your past 
relationship or your past marriage you start being like my ex cheated on me most of them say that but at that time that alicia was chatting to christopher believed him that maybe the problem was with the ex because our girl was in love <laughs> <laughs> so after chatting for a while on Facebook, they went to WhatsApp, started doing video calls. Alicia works as a teacher in a school. Christopher too told her works in a school, but never said he is a teacher. Yeah, he was doing something else in that school. So it was very easy for them to really connect. So guys, because their connection was really deep, their relationship could grow stronger every single day. They could tell each other their daily activities and whenever she could be at school, you know, on a break, they could do video calls. She could, you know, video call and show him around. Oh my God, Alicia was very, very happy. You know the feeling, guys, when you have a guy, he is so communicative. You know, he shows you that you are my woman, you are my everything. It really feels so good. I remember one of my babies, now she is married in America. If you remember her, those who watched her success love story, Miriam was like, Bella, love can be crazy. You can't imagine I go around singing, you know, the love songs <laughs> that my boyfriend has sent to me. Ah, love is sweet. So with Alicia too, tells you that, oh, that moment, it was the sweetest moment ever. So they could talk when she's at work, they could talk when he's home, they could make lots, lots of future plans together. Even he started giving her promises like, babe, when I come there, I'm going to be helping you with paying the bills. You're not going to be you not know, troubling yourself anymore. Wow, wow, wow. She was so excited and couldn't wait for them to meet. Another thing that Alicia talked about is face this challenge online. She could chat with some guys, at least to those who kind of seemed serious, <laughs> but when it came meeting time, they could just bring up stories. I remember one day she sent money to a guy so that the guy can travel, come meet her. And that guy eventually blocked her. And I was like, I'm not someone who likes to chat with a guy, chat, 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 and take long to meet. No, for me, I want to have you as soon as possible. Yeah, so she couldn't wait to meet Christopher. So the happiness that Alicia had at that time <laughs> tells us even her colleagues could ask her, oh my God, in these days, you're so happy. Tell us the secret <laughs> and could ask Christoph, are people asking you on your side that these days you're so happy? Christopher could say yes. They are asking me, why am I so happy these days? Due to the love they were feeling for each other. Oh my God. <laughs> love can change someone's life. And guys, when they moved to WhatsApp, Christopher told her, delete your Facebook dating account because I have deleted mine. Alicia had to delete her Facebook dating profile. And I told you in one of my videos, I think two years ago or three years ago, that when you see a guy is very, very interested, is insisting on you deleting your online dating account, then being more interested to get to know you, talk of serious things, <laughs> it matters to him very, very much for you to delete that account it's a red flag. Yes, guys, it is a very, very big red flag. But Alicia deleted that Facebook account. So guys, back to Christopher's past love experience. So told her the wife cheated. Eventually, they divorced. Never had kids with the ex-wife. And after some time, found true love again in a lady. This lady was living and still lives in Massachusetts and is from Asia, an Asian lady. So they dated and after some time got married. When they got married, then the lady started stealing his money and also could make him work a lot. He could work three jobs in a day. It was too much for him and eventually decided they should divorce. So Christopher had two divorces 
on his back. To the time he met Alicia on that Facebook dating app. So all was good. Alicia never wanted to judge because we all have our histories, you know, what we went through. So she was like, I'm sorry, babe. And the relationship continued after some few weeks of their relationship. Then Christopher comes up with this decision that, you know what, babe, I love you so much. I feel so connected to you. He says a yes to that point the way they could talk the way she felt they knew each other it's like oh my god they were married for like five years the way they could enjoy each other on the conversation all was really good so christopher tells her i love you so much i can't live very far away from you i just want us to live together so due to the love that i feel for you i have decided to leave behind everything, my job, all, 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 and come to you so that we can live together. If it is finding a job, I'm going to find a job there and I'll be helping you to pay the bills. Don't worry at all. Wow. <laughs> she was so happy. She was like, hey, God, you are wonderful. <laughs> yeah, and that's the time, guys, she wrote to me about this guy but for me i didn't know she was chatting with this guy who has decided in a short period of time to leave everything behind go live with her in her house because she has got her own house but when alicia gave me this story yes i was so sorry for her i'm still sorry for her but i had to tell her the truth that girl here it was a red flag a responsible guy will not just leave everything behind in just few weeks of getting to know a lady online and go live with the lady, no matter how much he loves you. A responsible guy will never do that. But if a guy does such kind of a thing, it shows he is irresponsible. And such kind of guys are very, very dangerous because they've got nothing to lose yes and the reason to why i'm saying they're very dangerous they've got nothing to lose it's because they can commit any crime and be like i've got nothing to lose even if i go to jail yeah so be very careful there but another thing is when you date a guy and he shows you that he is a guy that easily or hurries to make important decisions without thinking them very, very well, we have a very big problem here. It is a red flag. So now let's continue. So Alicia's response to this was like, Bella, <laughs> I was in love. I was very happy at that time. I wasn't seeing that as a red flag. Thinking of it now, yes, I can see it was a red flag. She also mentioned that Bella, it's not easy. You know, when someone goes through those challenges, you find a guy, he blinds you, you are in love, you don't see any red flags. <laughs> you shouldn't blame the lady because at that time, it's not easy for you to wake up and be like, hell no, you can't leave everything and come to me. You know, what kind of a man are you? You're supposed to be a man, take care of a woman, have a stable job. So how can you leave your stable job and just come to live with me. No, Bella, due to the happiness I had and I knew the guy was my answered prayer from God, that is why I saw everything was fine and I kept on enjoying. I really enjoyed, girl. <laughs> and when you hear enjoying, you might be like, maybe the guy was spoiling her. No, words. The words that that guy was telling her, oh my God, they were so sweet. No guy has ever told her those words so at that point was like this is it you know <laughs> so kept on waiting and they planned the day that christopher was supposed to leave new hampshire and go to philadelphia came traveled by bus and on the other side alicia prepared herself told her daughter they went to the bus station to wait for him eventually he arrived when he arrived oh my god alicia was so happy to finally meet him you know in person and he was happy too to finally meet alicia 
in person. So after picking him up, she drove hard to look for somewhere to eat. So they went to this restaurant, they ate, and after eating, it was time to pay the bill. So Alicia's daughter started kicking her feet, like, Mama, Mama, he must pay. He's supposed to pay. He's a man. <laughs> Make him pay that bill. <laughs> You can't pay that bill, mama. And Alicia told the daughter, no, I'm going to pay. And in her mind, told me, oh, he's telling you now that you know how we Africans are when we have visitors, you know we have to take care of them. So she was like, this guy has traveled that far to come and meet me. He is my guest. I must pay for the dinner. <laughs> but the daughter said no, and she was brave enough to tell Christopher, you have to pay the bill. <laughs> then Christopher looked at her very, very badly. <laughs> but eventually, Christopher paid for that bill. After that, they drove, went home. So arriving home, Alicia looked at him, the way he was dressed. Oh my God. Very, very ugly outfit. The boots he was wearing. Oh my God. <laughs> she was like could feel shy to even walk with him, you know, dressed up like that. He was really looking very, very old, like someone who doesn't take care of himself. But with Alicia, tells us, for how I was looking for true love, wasn't looking at money at all at all, because the truth is this guy wasn't a rich guy, was just a normal guy. So she kept on communicating with him and everything caused was really looking for love and thought the guy loved her too so when she looked at him after arriving at her house was like no this guy needs a change you know <laughs> yeah he needs to change on the way he dresses up even has to take care of himself you know he had beard so like someone who is homeless yeah so the next day had to take him shopping at target bought him lots lots of outfits spent money yes bought him boots and told her he's not someone that likes shopping so most of his outfits are given <laughs> by people imagine guys <laughs> so yeah after shopping they go home and days that followed he started changing looking really good the good thing is alicia sent me his photos of before and after and she did a very good job so guys they started living together and he had to start looking for a job to be responsible and also get to help Alicia on the bills, just like he promised her. So started looking for a job and Alicia too started helping him to look for a job. So as he was still looking for a job and Alicia helping him to look for a job could help Alicia, you know, sometimes around the house. He was kind showing, you know, like he is a good guy and one day makes a surprise to alicia he proposed guys asked alicia will you marry me oh my god alicia was so happy and if you're a lady watching this you can imagine those who have not reached to that stage you always dream for that day so that day came for alicia <laughs> So that is why her happiness was in heaven, <laughs> dancing with angels. <laughs> and she said, yes, it was a silver engagement ring. Alicia really loved it. Eventually found him a job in a school. He worked for a few weeks in that school, then was like, no, he can't keep on working in that school. They're paying him very, very low so stopped going then alicia again started to look for him for a job so she invested her time and money because could give him money for the transport to go look for a job money to do everything for that time that he did not have a job even remembers opening a bank account for him gave him $200 to open a bank account was like your salary will be coming here. He was so happy and told her, thank you so much. So kept on looking for a job for him. Eventually found a job for him 
in a nursing home. He started working there, but Alicia tells us when he started working there and could get paid, never saw his money at all at all. One time she asked for his contribution and he was like, babe, I don't have any money left with me. I have only $5. So give to her that $5. <laughs> imagine guys he could say all his money is for his daughter yeah so my goodies lovers i know you're very curious to know if they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> so with the goodies alicia tells us the guy wasn't asking at all at all so she asked herself is this guy why is that <laughs> they go to the bedroom and when they go to bed <laughs> The guy turns his back and he's like, good night, babe. What is this? <laughs> so eventually had to ask Christopher, what is happening? Are you gay or something? He was like, no, I'm not gay, but I'm not sure if I'm gay or not. And you have to give me time. Give me some more time, you know, <laughs> to get used to the environment. <laughs> before asking the goodies so it kept on like that yes sometimes they could touch and you know those kind of stuff kiss and by the way alicia said she enjoys more like touching kissing than enjoying the goodies itself but if a guy is not even looking you know for that it has to worry you so they could just touch kiss and not every day you know once in a while there was no enjoyment at all at all all these are her words guys so guys alicia tells us when they used to communicate all was flowing christopher was perfect <laughs> yeah the only problem she knew one of his ear couldn't hear well so for him to hear you you are supposed to talk loudly but apart from that other things came to discover them when they met in real life so number one he had a problem in his one leg it's like someone who did a surgery and they put something into that leg because when he could walk couldn't walk very properly he could lean again here alicia says it wasn't a big deal because i was really in love with him so the second problem is that he had a problem in his brain this guy was seeing a therapist yeah because told alicia when he was little didn't know about this story the grandmother came to tell him when he grew up so the grandmother said when he was very little the dad used to hit on his head very very much to an extent was rushed to the hospital and arriving in the hospital there is something they had to put in his head so sometimes he could go crazy but told alicia don't worry i'm taking medications and i can control myself alicia tells us when she got to know that was really really scared had to hide all the knives but he kept on telling her don't worry i can control myself i can't do anything to harm you but discovered too whenever she could ask him questions or oh, alicia's daughter could ask him questions just simple questions he could get so angry become nervous and could start shouting for no reason like one time they were having just a normal conversation and then he got so nervous for no reason started shouting at her coming on her face like shut up shut up shut up oh my god was super super scared and tells us the reason she is still alive till now it's because god protected her that's it the guy was crazy guys very very crazy and after seeing the true color of christopher how christopher is you know in real life remembers when they were talking about the first ex-wife christopher told her that the ex-wife said christopher you will never be happy anywhere for what you did to me so she was living in terror guys in terror so now that all his true character has come out whenever they could have some arguments the guy could be like give me back my ring i want my 
ring back. Oh my God, who gives you a ring and they want to take it back? But Alicia kept on telling him, no, the ring is mine. You engaged me. I'm not giving you that ring back. So guys, it was really crazy. Some days it could cool down, but some other days he could start shouting for no reason. Like, ah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And even at night, he could make noise, lots of noise. But still Alicia was like, I love him. And this guy all the time could sit down to watch the TV, could watch crime movies, crime documentaries, movies. That's all he could watch on the TV and she could ask him, babe, why do you like to watch these kind of things? Then he could tell her, I just like to watch them. That's it. So guys, they kept on living together and he kept on showing Alicia, this is how I am. Could tell her, I am who I am. Don't tell me anything. And started even telling her that he hates all his family. He hates women. Women are so stupid. They think that they can do things that men do. Could also tell Alicia, your daughter should be working now. And Alicia could tell my daughter is still young. And he could tell her, mine started working at a very early age. And that ex-wife that I married and started making me work three jobs a day. <laughs> She was not working, so my wife should be working. You should work. And Alicia could tell him, but why? Why is it so important? For me, I work, no problem. But why is it so important? It was like, yes, a woman should work. But on the other hand, Alicia says, when you find a guy, maybe you met online or even in real life, and this guy is pushing you to work or is pressuring you, you must go to work. It is good to work because... When you work, you gain financial freedom, you know, you can take care of yourself. But to her, according to her own experience, when a guy is pushing you, stressing you, you must work. I can't date a lady who does not work. It's a red flag because that guy wants you to be independent so that you don't ask him money at all, at all. Or wants you to work so that he can be taking money from you. And right now, I know you're like, Bella, so does it mean it is bad to work? No, I still repeat, working as a lady is very important. Find something to do for your life. But if you're going to date a guy, if you're going to get married to a guy, that guy should be a man. That guy should know how to take care of his wife, of his family. Okay, yeah. <laughs> know these guys that wants to date you so that you can split the bills or they can depend on you. No, hell no. <laughs> so could tell her he hates women, something that was a shock to her because in their conversation online, this guy never mentioned something like that. So hates women, hates his old family because his dad used to hit him on the head and they hid it from him until the grandmother told him. The father, before passing away, asked for forgiveness but never forgave the dad. The mother never asked for any forgiveness. That is why he has it with women. He could also talk bad of the ex-wife, the Asian lady, could be like she was after his money and the green card. The green card did not give it to her. She is so stupid. Oh my God. Did I tell you when a guy talks so bad about the ex-wife, it's a red flag. When a guy talks so bad about other women, don't think you are excluded. You are actually included. If he treats other people, other women very badly, talks bad about them, one day it's going to be your turn. This is a vivid example. So let us not ignore the red flags. I told you when you are dating a guy, especially right now, be careful with online dating guys. Any guy you meet online, observe the guy into details. Don't ignore anything because you ignore one thing, your life is ruined. So guys, from the time Christopher started living with Alicia and Alicia's daughter never spent his money on Alicia, not for the house, 
not on Alicia's daughter. But on Alicia's side, what was she doing? She was giving out her money. Go do this, go do that, pay for this, pay for this, taking care of Christopher. To an extent, after two months of them being together, her account was dry. So eventually, Alicia's life that she imagined it was going to be, you know, the best life, live the happily ever after, so much in love, turned into a nightmare, a total nightmare. Had no money, was running out of money, cause brought another person to take care of, not that person to help her take care of the family. And at the point she was going through lots of financial struggles, then Christopher tells her, I am going back to Massachusetts. Imagine guys. So that means this guy was going back to the ex-wife that he was saying she is stupid, wanted his money and all that. It was another shock to Alicia, but at the same time, a relief that was going to get rid of that guy. And yes, one time he woke up very, very early, 3 a.m. <laughs> in the morning, packed all his things, took everything that Alicia bought for him. The boots, the ugly boots that he came with, left them, but he took including toothbrush, toothpaste, everything in the bathroom, packed them all and left. Alicia remained with a broken heart because remember guys, due to all these things that this guy has done to her, he's a crazy guy, but we can't forget the fact she was in love. Yeah, this is the truth. So cried so much, even at the time she was narrating all this to me, I could feel her voice breaking down, telling me, Bella, okay, let me take a break and be strong so that I can tell you everything into details. That's a woman that was in love. So the reason Alicia decided to bring this love story to you all is to be careful of Christopher. Yes, be very, very careful because after he left, she had to go to Facebook dating just to see if this guy is still there and found him there. But at first, he had told her, delete your Facebook account, I have deleted mine. But he never deleted his account. And on Facebook, calls himself Christo. I am going to be posting his photos here, but somehow block. If you want to see it clearly, you know, <laughs> without being blocked, just check me on Instagram. I will send you his photos so that you be careful. Because yes, he is on Facebook, but I'm sure he is also on other dating apps and sites. He is dangerous. Someone who has a mental problem, hmm... He can do anything to you and he will never go to jail. They will just put him in an institution where he will be treated because they will say the guy is crazy. So why risk your life? She brought this story to save you. Was very lucky. Christopher never raised his hand, you know, to beat her or anything, but he was really aggressive on her so for her it went good but for you you might come across him and it really goes bad 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 we don't want that to happen another detail that alicia gives about christopher sometimes he lies about his original location he is from new hampshire but most of the times he says he lives in massachusetts which is not true on his profile he wrote that he is a very good Christian. But when he started living with Alicia, told her, no, I'm not even a Christian. <laughs> and here Alicia is like, Bella, you'll never know a guy 100% until you meet him in real life. This is true. That's why I've been telling you, don't use your heart. Use this. Okay? Use your head. Dear sisters, don't attach yourself to a guy emotionally until you see real actions, until you meet him. You get to see if there is chemistry. You get to see if he's really a good guy, okay? That is when you fully fall in love with that guy. I know you can't command the heart, 
but yo with online dating <laughs> we gotta start learning commanding our hearts <laughs> not to fall in love with these losers yeah to be honest and as i'm ending this love story please be gentle in your comments yes it's true she ignored lots of red flags but it is what it is we can't judge her let us learn from this love story let us be careful with christopher and guys that are same as christopher on the dating apps and sites if you're here watching this video you have never tried online dating before trying out online dating watch videos about online dating get to know get to learn how online dating world is because if you just go download the dating sites and apps you start searching you are going to be scammed guys are going to play games on you you will take crazy guys like christopher you will face a lot and you might end up ruining your life it's not easy you need to be aware of what online dating is all about to you all that are still on the dating apps and sites searching you come across a guy he seems serious everything is flowing you have an intuition he might be a good guy if you're in a position to pay for the fee to be guided on that guy please pay that fee to avoid future tears don't come to me excited i've found the one and then maybe you have ignored lots of red flags after a year you come back crying to me please please let us avoid that but for those who are not in a position to pay for the fee to be guided the videos are here watch all those videos tips and tricks of online dating everything you won't be in trouble stop being excited when you find a guy and he seems like a good guy be excited when you are sure he is really the one to all my babies please i repeat you have found a guy he seems to be the one come to me i guide you step by step i have questions that i know when you ask a guy or oh, a guy like christopher if some of my questions alicia could have asked him he could have started being so nervous and could have even ghosted alicia it could have ended online without meeting without this lady losing her money without this lady being heartbroken but unfortunately it did not happen i'm telling you all so that it doesn't happen to you and if you have been watching my recent videos you see this has been repeating itself yeah we hear success stories we be excited but we don't know things into details and later it's a failed story so alicia this morning wrote to me was like yeah she's kind okay not so okay trying her best you know to move on and forget what happened to her going to the dating sites not yet but was like bella like you always say we shouldn't give up yes of course i will start all over again and this time i'll tell you everything step by step so that my sister you can guide me so i'm still praying for her and i am sure one day i'll come here to tell alicia's success love story to you all and we'll be smiling and congratulating her and lastly guys that alicia is very happy about is not to get married to this guy I was like bella what if we rushed to get married because some guys will really rush to marry you and later you see pepe <laughs> so she was like imagine what could have been of my life with this crazy guy and here comes my advice no matter how long you have been single don't rush into marriage get to know a guy very very well so that you don't regret later but not only about marriage don't rush to move in with a guy if you remember there is a story i shared with you of a lady who moved very very fast in <laughs> with a guy 
and she saw trouble left everything behind had to sell all her things and going to the guy the guy was so abusive he was a loser eventually she had to run away when that guy was at work and the friends took her in but she went to start from zero because had lost everything because of her decision to move in very fast with that guy without knowing him better because it was her first time to go visit that guy and she went to stay forever <laughs> yeah that was a crazy decision so don't be in a hurry to get married to move in with a guy take your time get to know him better and decide whether you should get married or you should start by moving in together <laughs> so dear friends we have reached to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching till now be blessed for your time be blessed for your support and the love that you show me i really appreciate much please please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to enjoy you're going to learn a lot but remember to also comment about this video i would like to read your comments and get to read what you think about this video please if you haven't subscribed what are you still waiting for join the family and thank you so much for subscribing let us meet in my next video i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.